Good morning, Math and Simple Majors. Today is Friday, November 7th, and I have some good news. On Wednesday, the Caltech women's basketball team won our first game. Well, not like first game in history, but first game since I've been on the team. And that brings my total record up to 1 in 55. So, progress. In other news, today was the last day of classes, which means next week is unfortunately finals week. And since I'm definitely going to need some cheering up before next week, I thought you might too. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite math and science jokes. What do you get if you replace the carbon on a benzene ring with iron? A Ferris wheel! How many guacs and guacamole? Avocado's number! What is Schrodinger's favorite TV show? Deal and no deal. Why did the mushroom buy everyone at the bar a drink? Because he's a fun guy! What do you do with a dead chemist? Bury him! Did you hear about the famous microbiologist who traveled to 30 different countries and learned 6 different languages? He was a man of many cultures. Remember, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitant. What is the dullest element? Borium. What do you call an electricity detective? Sherlock Holmes. Where does bad light end up? In a prism. Why is neon so lonely? Because its friends are gone. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Do surfers like chemistry jokes? Nah, bro. How many ears does Spock have? A left ear, a right ear, and a final frontier. A man walks into a bar and says, give me ten times the number of beers that everyone else in here is drinking. And the bartender says, now that, my friend, is an order of magnitude. The other day I was walking down the street when someone threw some sodium chloride at me and I said, hey, that's assault. So Heisenberg is going for a drive and gets pulled over by a cop and the officer says, sir, do you know how fast you were going? And he says, no, but I know exactly where I am. Now for the classic bar jokes, a neutron walks into a bar and says, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. Some helium walks into the bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve noble gases here. The helium didn't react. A virus walks into a bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve viruses here. And the virus says, well, you're not a very good host. Two infections walk into a bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve infections here. And they reply, but we work here. We're staff. A superconductor walks into a bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve superconductors here. And the superconductor leaves without any resistance. A neutrino walks into a bar and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve neutrinos here. The neutrino says, hey, I was just passing through. Schrodinger's cat walks into a bar and doesn't. Einstein, Newton, and Pascal are playing hide and seek and Einstein is it. Pascal runs off to hide, but Newton just pulls out a piece of chalk and draws a box at his feet. Einstein finishes counting, turns around, immediately spots Newton and is like, oh, Newton, you're so bad at game. I found you. And Newton says, no, my friend, you found one Newton per square meter. You found Pascal. A biologist, a physicist, and a mathematician are watching the entrance to a building. And two people go in, and then a couple minutes later, three people come out. The biologist says, they must have multiplied while inside. The physicist shakes his head and says, there must have been an error in our initial count. But the mathematician says, actually, if one more person goes into the building, it will be empty again. And last but not least, my all-time favorite, a two-parter, what do you get when you cross a grape and an elephant? Grape, elephant, sine theta. What do you get when you cross a mountain goat and a rock climber? Nothing, because you can't cross scalars. <laughs> Gets me every time. So there you have it, my favorite math and science jokes. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I do. For everyone else that is either gearing up or already in finals, I wish you the best of luck. Don't forget, Caitlin will be back on Monday. I hope you all have a great weekend.